The project I'm doing this year at Pompidou is called Our Labyrinth. It's a very simple project of pure performance. When someone comes to Pompidou on the ground floor, they will see one single dancer with a broom, pile of grain, just dancing with that pile of grain for an hour and a half. After that, another dancer takes on. For me, probably it's the very first project that is traditionally what people understand as a performance because there's really no participation of the viewers in this particular project. The idea of our labyrinth came from my partner and I visited Myanmar in winter 2014. One thing that really, really stayed with me when I visited Myanmar was when we went to visit Buddhist temple in Myanmar. Right before you even get close to the temple, there usually is a little hut for you to take your shoes off. The path from where you took your shoes off and to the temple is absolutely clean. The reason is because there is usually a group of volunteers 24-7 cleaning that path quietly, slowly, and just keeping that space very clean for the visitors. Later on, I spoke to them and they say it's a way for them to meditate, but also giving a gift to the community and to themselves to be able to perform such a ritual of cleansing, but also a path for the visitors to walk on. When I come back to the Taipei Fountain Museum to create a new project for my survey show, I decide to create a project called Our Labyrinth. So when you see this dancer dancing with that pile of grain, it's really not cleaning or brushing the floor. It's a dance. So although it has a broom, but the gesture of it, it's really not about uh, just cleaning the path. It's creating and destroying pattern at the exact moment of when each happens. Here in Pompidou, it's going to be hot summer. The dancers have their bare foot on the dance mat. So this time I create a black rubber dance mat on the floor that is um, evoking the idea of a pool of ink. That creates a visual distinction between the dance floor where the dancer are dancing and also where the audience can walk. This time to be in Paris and working with the dance school of Mahé we have some dancers that are European dancers, but also some East Asian dancers that are being trained to be a dancer, a professional dancer in that school. When I started the audition for our labyrinth in Paris, I did tell each of the dancers who came for the audition that the two things you need to remember is the first thing, the most important thing, is to keep every movement very, very slow. The second thing is that let the rise tell you how to move to your next movement, not what 
you tell rice, but it's in a way reverse that the rice tells you what to do. Another thing I also share with them is that in ballet, it's very much about defying the gravity for me. But for this piece, it's very much about the gravity. So the center of gravity is very, very low rather than high up here. My thinking is very simple. It is just a conversation between the dancer and the pile of rice. Another person also say that it looks like Chinese calligraphy. A French person told me that, which again, I'm very happily surprised that they see that. Hopefully my work is open enough that is welcoming and inclusive in terms of all the different kind of explanation.